Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, I was bored at my day job the other day, as I often am, and I started to think how there really isn't, uh, there really isn't like a, a very good, like reliable source for uh, dark ambient news on the internet, and uh, I mean, especially in vlog form, like I'm doing here. Um, you know, I mean, you can follow like the individual artists you love on Bandcamp, or you can subscribe to newsletters and follow them on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. But there's never really like a like a really good like big grouping of all kinds of good dark ambient news, you know, kind of del delivered to your mailbox or in this case your YouTube feed, uh, you know, like once a month. And uh, I mean, I know like the only zine that really kind of ever like reported, you know, dark ambient news was uh, This Is Darkness, but it seems like the zine's kind of like been in this perpetual state of kind of like being alive and dead, so I'm not really sure, you know, how long they're going to stick around for what's going on with that zine, of course. But uh, I thought, you know, what I would do here is once a month I would just, you know, you know, jot down dark ambient news that, you know, I find relevant or, you know, just anything kind of relevant to the scene and then I would report it here in this vlog style. And, uh, I mean, it's not going to be anything, uh, you know, overly fancy. I don't have a teleprompter here or anything like that. I'm just going to be uh, reading from my phone, so it's going to be, you know, a little lo-fi. But I'll have pictures appearing here, so it'll be a little more exciting and, uh, I hope this will be, you know, a good way to just kind of, you know, help spread some news and hopefully bring attention to releases and other other upcoming events in the scene. And uh, this first one I'm doing here is going to be, uh, you know, just a couple artists because I just want to, you know, highlight some friends that, you know, in the scene that are, have some stuff going on and then, you know, just this is like the pilot, so to speak, just to see if you guys like this and think it's a good idea, because if you think it's stupid, then let me know in the comments and I won't bother with a future episode. So, let's get into some dark ambient news, shall we? So, as I said, I'm just going to be reading from my phone here, but I will try to make the, you know, this as uh, humanly engaging as possible. And, uh, alright, so here we go. Kemmerheit. Kemmerheit box sets. 20 year anniversary box sets featuring, for the first time on vinyl, Kemmerheit's first three official albums. Asleep and Well Hidden, 2003. The Star Wheel, 2005. And The Nest, 2015. Since the formation of the project, Par Boostrum has delivered time and time again some of the most compelling and dare we say authentic dark ambient music ever to grace our ears. 2020 also sees the release of his new full length, Thronal on Cyclic Law, as well as marking the project's 20 years of existence. Kimmerite's discography is a flawless and shadowy collection of dreamy, melancholic soundscapes that we hope will see a further expansion in the years to come. Special edition 3LP box set on clear and black vinyl. Printed sleeves in box matte lamination also includes three A3 posters of the album's covers artwork. 23 tracks, running time, 2 hours, 14 minutes, and 4 seconds. Arriving on the 21st of this year, just before Christmas, it is the, by far the best thing you can give the dark ambient fan in your life for this holiday season. In other news, Lucas Levy Leotar, the mastermind behind Infinex Huma, well, has recently started his new label called Alchemy Labor Unit. This is what Lucas had to say on it. Extremely excited to announce the launch of my own music label, Alchemy Labor Unit, primarily to be the vessel for my, my project. Yet, looking forward to working with many of the fantastic artist friends I have met along this journey. The label will welcome a variety of styles such as noise plus all subgenres, trance, drone, experimental, post-industrial, all subgenres plus ambient and various other electronic music forms. Formats will include CD replication, vinyl, cassette, video, and digital, at all at full professional level. The first release will be Infinex Huma Frontier, coming January 1st, 2021 to all digital stores, as well in two disc CD replication and vinyl formats. He goes on to say, after two and a half years of work, this album has finally come to completion. Through much mental anguish, life journeys, trial and error, 
track scratching, loss, confusion, and waves, everything has been focused into this work. The recordings stem from a massive variety of stylis stylistic approaches, including field recordings of rain, traffic, construction, ocean, wind, vocal, random tones, bunkers, abandoned zoos, schools, hotels, DIY instrumental usage, growls, sampling and resampling, guitar work, wind chimes, analog noise recordings, digital sound design and sculpture, recordings during power blackouts, singing vocals, heavy rhythmic pieces, recreation of live work, and likely more. The style of the work is heavier than prior Infinexuma, however, often works in mellow ambient territories throughout. Lucas has also recently released a new album called Arcade, which to me was a very tranquil and meditative, but just really just grippy, you know, trance-inducing record that I absolutely loved, but uh, we'll save that for a proper review now, won't we? Back to Sweden for this next one. Hexmeyer is a Swedish artist, Thomas Estergards, also known as Estergards. Hexmeyer is named after a small lake, Hexmaren, near the village where he grew up in Sweden, Edsbyn. The name roughly translated means The Witch Morass. This marks the project's first release in the death industrial genre, an entity that allows Thomas to express his sorrow, anger, and frustration with his state of the world today. The title of the record is Odi Vesel, and that means deserted verses in Swedish, and is an apt description of this debut EP from the new industrial project Hexmeyer, formed only this year. It's also a reflection of the physical destruction of the artist's homeland, especially around the Norland area, specifically highlighting the devastated forests, abandoned factories, the countryside communities, denuded of population, and the after-effects of uranium mining, along with the rivers that have been drained, the exile of indigenous peoples, and the the consequent rise in the suicide rates. The anger and the hopelessness is in evident abundance here. Washes and drones, dark, cold winds, frigid, empty, and ruined the landscapes all aboard, all bound, testifying to the destruction of once thriving communities amidst pristine environments. However, this is not just a lament for the loss of Sweden's beauty. Oh no. It is also a damning indictment of the rest of the corporate industrial world, portrayed as an uncaring, faceless behemoth, hellbent and destroying all in its path in pursuit of profits. And I've had a chance to listen to this little EP, and I have to say, this is, I highly recommend this is awesome stuff. If you're into old school uh, Swedish industrial acts like In Slaughter Natives or, or uh, Arkhol and Satane, uh, Brighter Death Now, you're definitely going to enjoy this project. Very, very cool stuff. and. Uh, I have been meaning to uh, review some Estergard stuff too, which I will definitely begin to uh, in the coming weeks, months. One more quickie, and we're going to talk about Mambe Yulman's Haunted True Tales of the Paranormal original audiobook by Mambe Yulman. This is what Mambe had to say. Like to be scared? I have painstakingly gone through all of the recorded story files from the Haunted audiobook, extracted and rearranged these cues and compositions to present to you a soundtrack album for your haunt. Haunted House's Pleasure, now available on my Bandcamp site. Mambe mentions in his recent vlog that he had a very limited amount of time to compose the songs for this audiobook, but he had some, he actually came up with something like two hours of music, and uh, I've only just started to dig into this soundtrack, but it sounds just really impressive, really just great, dark stuff, and you know, very soundtracky, just as you'd uh, kind of expect from Mambe's music, but uh, you know, it's just, you know, shorter songs and everything, that it just really has a really great vibe from what I've heard so far. So this is a really, uh, you know, you know, recommended one I'm going to have to get right here. And uh, obviously, if you're into paranormal stuff, you know, there's even more appeal there. Well, that's all the news I got for you now. Um, the plan, like I said, is to do this, you know, once a month, maybe twice, if, you know, a lot of news just pops up and I have to kind of break it up so these videos aren't, like, super long or whatever. But uh, if you guys like this, let me know what you think. I mean, I know it's very lo-fi and it's just me talking from my phone, but, you know, I'm doing my best and... Uh, Hope you find it to be interesting and uh, can find a use for this. Uh, and hopefully, you know, this can be a, you know, a good hub to, you know, get all that darky ambient news there and uh, so on and so forth. Um, I should mention that if you are a dark ambient artist and you have news to share about your project, please send it to me. My email is right here. Send it to this email with a, a subject like news or something. And you don't have to say anything fancy. Just give me your news and I will report it next time I do one of these videos. Uh, Likewise, if there's other just, you know, you know, important news in the scene that you definitely think that I should uh, report on and you think that for some reason I might miss it or whatever, <laughs> you know, just send it to me and I'll be happy to you know, talk about it. And this uh, 
dark ambient news vlog we're doing here now. So thanks for joining me. I will see you with more news next month.